Hello everyone and welcome back to the Cycling Dane channel. Today we're going to be talking about the top 10 transfers for the 2020 to 2021 transfer window. For this list we have chosen 10 riders based on how exciting and game changing these transfers will be next year. After a lacklustre season at CCC, Matteo Trentin will up sticks yet again moving to the UAE Team Emirates squad for 2021. As of the time of recording, Trentin does not have a single race win in 2020. He hasn't had a season without a race win since 2011. Hopefully then this change of outfits will make a change for this former Grand Tour stage winner. He will be joined by Christoph and Gaviria at UAE Team Emirates but the team will definitely support him in the more lumpy stages that could favour the 2018 European champion. Number 9. Michael Matthews. Michael Matthews will be making a welcome return to his roots by moving back to the team that brought him into the spotlight of cycling. That is of course Mitchelton Scott. By missing the 2020 Tour de France many speculated that his dismissal from this team may have caused some tension internally with Sunweb. Nevertheless, the Australian will be looking to fill the void of sprinters at this Australian team, which has not really been filled since Caleb Ewan's departure. So we have our fingers crossed that Michael Matthews can get back to winning ways at Middleton Scott and bring back some homegrown victories for Australia's team. Number 8. Wilco Keldemont Sunweb have decided to let go of their seasoned GC leader and former Dutch time trial champion Wilco Keldemont as he heads to the German team Bora Hansgrohe for 2021. After four seasons at Sunweb, he has signed a two-year deal at Bora Hansgrohe who have just lost their Polish GC leader Micah in this season's transfer window. Going by his performance at the Giro d'Italia, Keldemont may have been one of the steals of this transfer season, so can he carry this momentum onto Bora Hansgrohe? Number 7. Tom Pidcock The British sensation and champion of the baby Giro, Tom Pidcock, is one of the hottest properties of the under-23 category. As presumed by many British fans and journalists alike, the Yorkshireman has has made the decision to sign with Team Ineos for 2021. Tom Pidcock, however, is a jack of all trades, winning mountain stages, sprints and cobble stages, as well as cyclocross and mountain bike world championships. Proved by his victories at Junior Paris-Roubaix and the Baby Giro, Pitcock could be another one to challenge Remco Avenapol in the years to come. Pitcock's former boss, Bradley Wiggins, has gone on record to warn the youngster about signing with Ineos in the past, but now with the absence of Froome and an aging Geraint Thomas, Pitcock's prospects could be changing at Ineos. Therefore, I'd be intrigued to hear what you guys have to think about Tom Pitcock's future at this British team. Number 6. Romain Bardet Spending all his career at the Azure Désert formation, the man from Brioude in France, Romain Bardet, will transfer over to the young Sunweb squad for 2021. Filling the shoes of Wilco Keldemont and Tom de Moulin, who have both left the team in recent seasons, Bardet will go into the German team as their new GC leader. Having always focused on the Tour de France at his former French team, a change of jersey for the next two years may bring some new opportunities and goals for this former Tour de France podium finisher. Interestingly enough, however, Bardet told the press that Sunweb's forward-thinking approach and membership of the Movement for Credible Science cyclists was enticing to him when weighing up his career prospects. A very intriguing comment from this talented French rider. In an interesting turn of events, 35-year-old Richie Port will be heading back to Team Ineos, the team that saw him become one of the best super domestiques in the world. After four seasons with the team between 2012 and 2015, Richie has decided to return to Ineos to round out his career as a helper for the likes of Egan Bernal and Geraint Thomas. Despite his age, his better days might not be behind him as he claimed his first ever Grand Tour podium this September at the Tour de France. Nevertheless, Richie will be someone else to look out for in the new year. Number 4 Miguel Angel Lopez Superman Miguel Angel Lopez's future has been in doubt since the season's restart. First, his Astana team declared that they couldn't hold on to the Colombian superstar for another season due to financial constraints. Then the rumor mill started to churn, first speculating a move to Bora Hansgrohe, but his eventual destination would be the Age de Zer Citroën team for 2021. Lopez will come in as their new GC leader, and a very competent one for that. Superman has never finished outside of the top 8 in GC at a Grand Tour, even securing podium finishes at both the Giro and the Vuelta. After Roman Bardet's departure, Miguel Angel Lopez will have big shoes to fill as he looks to challenge for the coveted Maillot Jean. Number 3. Adam Yates 
Following rumors that the Yates twins would be splitting up, the news finally broke that Adam Yates will switch team next year. The man who wore the yellow jersey for four days at the 2020 Tour de France will now be heading for Ineos to add yet another British rider to the roster. After the announcement of the move, Yates said that riding for a British team excited him and the deal has come at the right point in his career. We'll have to wait and see what comes next for this former white jersey winner and Tour de France mayor Jean Wehrer once he joins Ineos next year. Number 2. Krech van Avermaet One of the more high-profile transfers of the year, the new Citroën investment into the Azure Desert team means that the French team has been able to sign the reigning Olympic champion Krech van Avermaet until the end of the 2023 season. Another man left with an uncertain future after CCC's demise, Krech van Avermaet has a whole entourage jumping ship alongside him, including Hayes von Hooker and Michael Scher. Therefore, the Azure Desert Citroën squads will now have one of the most threatening squads for the Cobble Classics. Don't forget that Van Avermaet, former Pirate Bay champion, will also be joining Oliver Narsen at this French outlet. It will therefore be an exciting prospect to see how this Tour de Force Azure Desert Citroën team will tackle the Cobble Classics next year. Before we head to our number one pick, let's have some honorable mentions. Moving from EF to Israel Startup Nation, Canada's Michael Woods is an honorable mention. As is the Polish climber Rafał Majka, who's moving from Bora to help Tare Pogacar at the UAE Team Emirates squad. Another victim of CCC's fall, Ilna Zakrin will be heading to Team Gazprom for next season. On top of this, two riders heading over to Ineos next year will be Belgium's Laurent de Plus and the reigning Criterium de Dauphiné champion Daniel Martinez. Now let's head over to our number one pick, the biggest transfer for the 2021 season. And of course, number one is Chris Froome. It's hard not to place this as the number one on this list. This four-time Tour de France champion was the main topic of discussion during the summer, even if June and July were spent without racing. The champion of the Giro, Tour de France and Welter will switch from Ineos, the team that he won all his Grand Tour victories at, for the new blue kit of Israel Startup Nation in 2021. He will bolster the lineup of this newly promoted squad greatly, giving them a chance for Grand Tour success and maybe even Froome's fifth Tour de France win. The move has caused a stir around the globe, as many suspected his transfer caused him to be left out of the Tour de France team. However, many questions still remain unanswered with his transfer. Will the Brit ever be able to clinch that fifth Tour de France win, and will this team be the place where he does it? For the time being, we're just going to have to wait and see. But do you guys think that Chris Froome could get a historic fifth Tour de France title at his Royal Startup Nation? Anyway, that's everything from our list of the top 10 cycling transfers of the 2020-2021 window. What do you guys think? Do you agree or disagree with our list comment down below remember to stay tuned to the cycling day channel for all our live streams at the final week of the giro d'italia and the Walter espania but that's all for today thank you very much for watching and have a good one